Hey, Jen. What, uh, what strides do you feel like you've made personally and, and your team here in the summer? Yeah, I feel like this summer we did a lot more playing. So I think we kind of got that feel, like me and Cook going at each other every practice. We haven't been on the same team this whole practice. I mean, this whole summer. So just going at it, pushing each other, making each other better. I feel like that helped both of us. And also just the team from a leadership standpoint, just being more vocal. Um, yeah, just make sure that I'm leading by example, but also leading my boys. Other than Makaira, is there anybody that's been a real tough guard for you? <laughs> um, well, because we're point guards, we're guarding each other most of the time, but Jazz is a really strong guard. She's like sneaky strong, so like she'll get you in the paint. She kind of reminds me of a dial, just that shrimp. Um, Barry, I mean, as a freshman, the way that she, the confidence that she has coming in to just shoot the ball, to be aggressive, to score. I mean, I know that's, we're going to need that this year, but I can't wait to see how she develops over the years. But, I mean, all of our new guys, like, they just really came in just was confident. I think that's the biggest thing when you come to a new program. Have you been overseas before? I mean, what are you looking forward to about the, this, this next couple of weeks? Yeah, I've only been to Kenya. So Kenya on a missions trip last year, but have not been overseas, like, in this type of environment with a team, with actual, you know, things to do and things like that. So I'm excited. I mean, Italy, Greece, I mean, it's stuff you, you just dream about and hear in the history books, but to actually go there and see some of those things would be really cool. Now, are you looking forward to just the developing the team chemistry with, and, and really, you know, spending a lot of time with, with, with your new teammates and, and, you know, returning teammates and just building that chemistry up? Yeah, I mean, we already said, like, look, y'all, we can be hanging a lot together. We try and get in big groups, but also, you know, you gotta wanna do your own thing sometimes too, but we're just using the time at the dinners, at excursions, on the boat rides, island hop. I mean, the itinerary is crazy, but you're just enjoying ourselves and really just using that time to kind of, even on the plane, 10 hour flight, you know, just using that time to really do fun. It's just maybe been the practice setting, you know, coaches sort of talked about just how competitive it's been this summer. What's that been like to kind of be around that and maybe how can that benefit you to have that so early in this in off season? Yeah, good question. Good question. Um, it's fun. As a competitor, you want to have people that's going to compete. I mean, every like I think this year Coach Green has like made us run for every loss. So like when you lose, and you got to run. Like that puts more fire into you. So I just think no one wants to run. So it's like everyone's competing, everyone's going hard. But it's also like commodity. So like we pat each other on the bus. Okay, that was a good shot. Like kind of acknowledging each other, but also like competing. I think that's the best thing. Like when you compete at the highest level, but also still maintain that bond and that friendship. That's when we got a good team. Um, Coach has also sort of referenced just the leadership that Adalia has brought this this season. Wait, how have you maybe kind of seen her grow in that role, and what have what's that been kind of like to see? Yeah, I mean, first coming here, Dow was a sophomore. I mean, coming off her freshman year, and you could tell like it was progression every single year. And I feel like this year, like Dow don't give what she what she gives on the court, but just from a leadership perspective just about just how she's kind of like commanding the floor a little bit better, using her voice more. I mean, it's a joy to watch, like, from the outside looking in. Sometimes she's in her leadership mode, and then we all just sitting there like, no, nah, that was good talk, good, you know, just encourage her and things like that. But that's you know, definitely the next step for Dow, just that leadership perspective and just command the team. She's a senior, I mean, last year, so why sure. not? <laughs> You know, just for you guys to be around each other as much as you have been to play a fifth year with Makaira, or you know, you know, and then also um, with KB. What's that kind of been like to have that bond the last couple of years? Because you don't know if that's going to happen in the transfer portal, and what's that been like to kind of grow that? Man, like you said, with transfer portal, that's so rare, especially in today's time and just with the NIL space and all those things like that. So to have our core group back like that, I mean, it meant a lot for all of us. And we was having talks throughout the season, at the beginning of the season. Like, I'm still thinking about things. So, like, we were kind of talking as we went to kind of just make sure we was all on the same page. But, but we have a good thing here and just building off that WBIC championship and going for NCAA, just big run there. It was all of our last years. I mean, we're fifth years, but then we have Grant and Dow as seniors. So, it's like that five core, like, it's like, why not just give it all you can and just see where it takes us? Trying to kind of reference that, just maybe enjoying this experience because this, this mm -hmm. is the last ride for, you know, the, at least those three. What's have you tried to find yourself trying to be able to do that, you know, ahead of the season and what this might, you know, with it being your last? Yeah, I think my main motto this year is just like being present, just enjoying where I'm at. And I feel like I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself or too in the future, but just like really having that intentional time together. Uh, we hang in the locker room so much more in the um, apartment so much more. I think it's kind of getting to us like, dang, this is our last year and it's like, don't know where everyone would be after this year. So just really enjoying this time as a team and 
you know, it, it gets a little sad sometimes when you think about it, so I try not to think about it too much, but Julie's just staying in the present and just enjoying our time together. Of course, we just talked about increased depth just with as many pieces around this team. Like, how do you feel? Like, you played a lot of minutes for the last couple of years, so I'm going to help open you in the January, February of the season. Yeah, it's important. I think even, like, kind of pushing our freshmen to get out there, because sometimes the seniors, like, you know reps is what make you better, so you kind of get out there first, but it's like, kind of taking that back row, so, you know, you got there, you got there, and just not taking too many reps for them, because they need to learn, they need to grow, they need to understand. And I think just from a leadership perspective, like, encouraging them to, like, if you see something, you say something. Like, it's not like a hierarchy on this team. Like, everyone's at the same place. We're all willing to learn, willing to listen, so just kind of implementing that in our younger guys, so they can feel like they have a voice, even if you're a freshman, sophomore. Like, we all hear the hoop, and Whoever got it that day, they got it. So just kind of having that perspective.